70% of the memory is being used. There's nothing open. Let's go ahead and investigate what's using all the memory. All right, what is going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the cheapest Windows laptop I can find on walmart.com. There might be some more expensive laptops in store, but this is the cheapest one I could find online. And it comes in at a whopping, I think $230 or something. It's another HP laptop, so let's see what it's like. Uh, Walmart, we have some, uh, some things to talk about. So this is the package here. What is this? Hello? Can we get some, like what? You see this? You can physically see the laptop, Walmart. So can we uh, f fix our packaging here? But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get this unboxed. All right, so this is the HP Stream laptop. Actually, I have no idea why I'm doing that. I have a overhead camera. So this is the HP Stream laptop. It comes in 14 inches with the HD display. So maybe that means this is 1080 if it is. That's nice. We have Windows, obviously, with an Intel Celeron processor. So even though it's not i3, it's still a processor that can get minimal tasks done. Four gigs of memory, which is a uh, little concerning. Uh, 64 gigabytes of eMMC memory, which isn't horrible. It's better than a hard drive, but I'm more concerned about this four gigs of memory. And then we have Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth. Even though it's not Wi-Fi 6, I think Wi-Fi 5 is pretty good. When I say pretty good, I mean who cares about Wi-Fi 6. Okay, now let's go ahead and get this unboxed. Now that we got the uh, specs out the way. Also, if you look up here, this is in brilliant black. I mean, whoever names colors is a, uh, that's a skill in itself. All right, we get our paperwork from Walmart. Um, thanks for telling me that it is printed in China. Nice to know. Um, but let's go ahead and get the rest of this unboxed. Now I will say, God, there's so much paperwork. Um, this brilliant black is better than uh, the silver laptops that come across this channel. Ooh, I like this. It's like a stealthy color. You guys like that? Like that? Because I like it. All right. Uh, pretty simple design. I don't think this is aluminum. Pretty sure this is plastic. What does it smell like? Doesn't really smell like anything. I guess that's a common uh, pattern here on HP laptops. Nope, right here. I can smell the motherboard. The motherboard smells good. Um, but fingerprint magnet, as you can see, not really a fan of that anymore. I don't like it anymore. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, show you guys the ports. And holy moly, these are a lot of ports for a 200 something odd laptop. We have a Kenison lock, I believe, an HDMI port, uh, three USB-A ports, a headphone jack, and an SD card slot. And then we have a power indicator here. Moving on to the other side, we have a lonely power adapter, or I should say power jack. Um, so all your ports are on one side. Um, let's go ahead and get this unboxed. I keep saying unboxed. I mean on. I really do like this design here. But let's go ahead and while this is getting booted up here, let's talk about the overall design here. Everything is kind of central towards the user, which is something that I really like. Um, I know for 14 inch laptops, sometimes they move it over to the right, sometimes move it over to the left. Um, but I think this trackpad is good enough. It is, uh, sounds like it's double clicking. It's very loud. Um, but in terms of the keys and the way they're written in terms of legibility, I really like them. I think HP does a really nice job here. Um, we do also have home page up, page down and end. So if you're a person who utilizes these keys a lot, that's nice to see. I know I made a big deal about backlighting, but I think with a laptop color scheme like this, black on white, um, at night it isn't that bad, but it would have still been nice to see backlighting, but 
$230. Um, this is a laptop to just get stuff done. Um, and it looks like Windows 11 is lagging upon boot up here. Um, I guess that Celeron 4 gigs of RAM isn't cutting it here. This is painfully slow. Oh my goodness. Um, but hey, you're in Windows. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up. All right, so uh, looking at the screen here, there is no way this is 1080. <laughs> There's no way. This looks not 1080. Um, so I almost never like do extra stuff while I'm getting Windows set up because it usually doesn't take this much time, but I've been sitting on this screen for a while. And it's funny how they're now saying thanks for your patience. If you're just trying to access the internet for 200 something dollars and you can get away with using it on your phone, I would say just buy a phone for like 200 something dollars because you can probably get set up and on the internet faster than this. Um, but I mean, if you're looking for something that's more of like a workstation and I use workstation very loosely there, um, workstation as in a sense of a traditional computer with like a keyboard and a trackpad. <sighs> I mean, I'm not even in Windows yet. Oh my goodness. Um, maybe, maybe, we'll see. Jeez, this is taking a long time. I'm actually just going to keep this here and probably just speed up the video and let you guys see how long this actually takes. Okay, finally, I don't know how long that took, but uh, we're finally in the next step so I can agree for my license agreement. I just want to interject. I'm watching uh, ice skating here and it looks like it is Italy in first place and the US is now performing. So, uh, cool. The US is still dancing on the ice. Uh, they're most definitely not going to be Italy, but we are in Windows, so let's go ahead and test out the usual, usual things here. Okay, yeah, I mean, looking at this, this is most definitely not HD. This is 1366 by 768. Um, so not real HD, but I mean, at this screen size, for this price point, it's not that bad. I mean, everything is still pretty legible for the most part. Um, but in terms of like their marketing, I don't like how they put HD there and it's not, you know, 1080. Man, I wish I knew how to ice skate. They look like they're out of breath though. Let's just look up a 4K walking tour. And I don't think this is gonna run a 4K video. Let's go to, oh, wow, look at that, Italy. Who would have thought? Look how slow this is. By the way, my internet is 300-300. Uh Wait, what ad is this? I'm actually interested. Okay, anyway. Okay, we're actually not going to play the music because I don't want to get copyright struck by accident. Um, but I'm just going to full screen this here. I believe this is 720. Um, I really don't think anything higher than 1080 is really going to matter on this laptop. And I think I accidentally just clicked 1440. Um, if it loads this, I will be thoroughly impressed. I'm pretty impressed. I'm actually really impressed. Hold up. Can we do 4K? 4K 50? I mean, it's a little choppy. Um, I don't think people at this price point are going to be watching it that high. So I'm not even going to waste my time. Um, but let me just drop down to 1080 here. And let's jump, jump to a different part of the video. Let's go to like 50 minutes. 1080 videos, I think it's fine. I mean, it is beautiful. Oh my God, I wanna to go to Italy. No wonder the first place. How is this a place on earth? Like, is there any place like this in America? I don't think so. My goodness, this is beautiful. It's actually unfair. All right, let's uh, play the music for like five seconds.
Piazza. Bro, this looks like a happy town. Excuse me, crossing. Excuse me. Rude. Let's go over here. Oops. Max brightness, by the way. Oh, whoa, where are we? All right, so even though the screen isn't exactly 1080, it's pretty good. I think the only downside is that this is like a panel. It's not IPS, so moving off to the side, it gets really bad, really fast. So just make sure you're looking at this screen directly if you end up purchasing this laptop. But let's go ahead and test out the camera here. Um, seems like when things are, actually no, things, this is, still unbelievably slow. I hit the enter button and it's just now loading up the camera app. So this is the microphone on this HP stream laptop. Um, I don't know the resolution on this camera, but I'm surprised that my box is so small, right? Usually my box is bigger. Like this looks like I'm in a zoom box that gets squished already. Um, but you guys tell me how the microphone sounds. The camera quality, trash, honestly. Uh, let me turn off my, my light here just so you guys can see. I mean, no, there's no way. I mean, you can make out who I am, but look at this. It's horrible. Even with the light on, no, nah. no. Nah. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do a quick typing test. I think I actually like this. Uh this keyboard here, Ooh, it's very snappy. Wait, it's lagging, come on. Um, the keyboard is nice though, I really love the keyboard. I think it's just the actual computer itself. Um, I guess just loading all the ads on the page um, and actually just trying to like calculate the sound and the types as well. It just like couldn't keep up for a little bit. So that kind of messed me up, but I really like this keyboard. Um, I know I talked about the display when I was doing the whole YouTube thing, when I was like walking through the city and I said it was pretty good. Um, in terms of viewing content, yes. But typing actually kind of, I don't know, it kind of strained my eyes because I guess the way the colors are, it's like the white isn't really white. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It just wasn't that legible to, to be honest with you. Um, maybe if it was in dark mode, it's a little bit better, but the white was just really straining. And I guess the only way I can really describe it is that maybe there's no like built-in blue filter because that white was just really painful overall. Um, but this is a, $250, probably even cheaper than that laptop from Walmart. Um, I think Windows 11 just can't be built with four gigs of RAM. I mean, clearly it's running, but I don't think Windows 11 is intended to be used with four gigs of RAM, especially paired with the Celeron. I think the Celeron is fine, um, but that four gigs of RAMs, I feel like is really just chewing up everything in this laptop. Um, maybe I should fact check myself and just check task manager just to see what's going on. 20%, um, I think that might, what's being 70% of the memory is being used. There's nothing open. Let's go ahead and investigate what's using all the memory. Oh, Microsoft Edge. It's not even open. And then we have this anti-malware Microsoft. Yeah, I. <laughs> There's no way four gigs of RAM is supposed to be on a Windows laptop. Absolutely not. Look at this. Look at this, 2.7 out of 3.8. You effectively have one gig of memory to use on this laptop before you can say it's your own. Like I said, look. Oh wow, I'm just knocked over my glass. Um, the CPU here, it's at like 20, 20 something percent, right? I don't think it's the Celeron that's killing this computer. 
It's the memory. Holy. Um, so my honest opinion, HP, two for two. Uh, maybe you should just wipe this and run Linux. That would, that's my honest opinion at this point. Um, Windows, four years of memory. Uh, Microsoft, yes, you can run Windows. If you are that, I guess, invested in the Windows ecosystem or it's just something you're comfortable with, sure. But yeah, I mean, the port selection, fantastic. I think the overall design is great. Maybe we could have a better material here. Um, the other thing I wanna mention is this display once again. Um, I haven't used this at night. It is nighttime. <laughs> I haven't used this outside or in direct sunlight, but this display is very reflective. So do keep that in mind. If you intend to use this with any sort of light source beaming down on the screen, it's probably gonna be a rough time. And the more I look at this display, I just feel like I'm getting even more eye strain because you really have to have it at the perfect angle while looking at this laptop. Any off angle you have, everything just looks terrible and it just hurts your eyes trying to adjust for the way the screen is supposed to look. Um, but that is the HP Stream. This is the cheapest Windows laptop you can get from walmart.com. The packaging, or I should say the shipping box sucked. Um, the setup process sucked. Um, the user experience within using the laptop wasn't horrible. Um, I'd give it like a four out of 10. Um, but that's pretty much this laptop for 200 something dollars. I don't think it's that bad. Um, but like I said, I wouldn't recommend this for anyone. Get a Chromebook or just wipe it and get Linux. Um, but with all that being said, guys, I appreciate every sub, like, and comment. Let me know what you guys think about this laptop. And uh, HP, don't put HD on your laptop if it's not true 1920 by 1080. Um, appreciate every sub, like, and comment, even if I said that already. Here it is again. And as always, guys, much love. Oh, they just finished ice skating. What country is this? They look like they're from Eastern Europe. I can't put my finger on it. Can we get the country, please? Hurry up. Hey, I wanna clap. I wanna know what the technical score is. Oh my goodness. Do we really need a highlight reel at the end of this? Oh, wow, that was beautiful. If my microphone is picking up the song, copyright strike, but it's a vibe. Oh my gosh, there's really no country. Wait, America's first and second? We're killing it. It's definitely Eastern Europe. Looking at the last names, I believe. I don't know what rock is. Uh, rock country. Oh, it's Russia. Um, Putin, listen, I know you're trying to invade the Ukraine and that's technically Eastern Europe. Listen, they're not your people. Actually, are they your people? Actually, I don't wanna get into this topic. Hey, the French can dance, let me just say. Um, but now the video is officially over.